A broad classification of protozoans known as infusoria, which frequently includes ciliates, flagellates, and amoebas. On the other hand, paramecium is a particular genus of ciliates belonging to the infusoria family. Since infusoria is a broad category, many infusoria types may move in different ways, such as by cilia, flagella, or amoeboid motion. As a ciliate, paramecium moves by employing many cilia, which resemble hairs. It is recognizable by its distinctive shape, like a slipper or shoe, and its quick, synchronized ciliary activity. Species differences in infusoria size and shape can be significant. They could have an uneven, elongated, or spherical shape. Paramecium normally has a length of between 100 and 300 micrometers and resembles an extended slipper or shoe. The cytostome, a mouth-like structure on paramecium that is used for consuming food particles, has a clearly defined oral groove. Varied infusoria groups may have varied oral groove structures, therefore not all infusoria are the same. Reproduction Depending on the species, infusoria can reproduce through a variety of processes, including binary fission, multiple fission, and budding. Transverse binary fission is the primary method of reproduction used by paramecium. The cell divides into two daughter cells as a result of this process, the macronucleus and micronucleus are each replicated. Being a broad group, infusoria can be found in a variety of freshwater and occasionally even marine settings. They are frequently connected to decomposing organic materials in bodies of water. As a particular ciliate, paramecium is typically found in freshwater habitats, particularly in ponds, lakes, and still water. In conclusion, the infusoria group of microscopic creatures is diverse and home to a variety of protozoans, while paramecium is a particular species of ciliates that is a member of the infusoria group. While infusoria as a whole includes a greater variety of microorganisms with varying properties, paramecium is distinguished by its slipper-like form, ciliary activity, and clearly defined mouth groove.